Hi everyone, my name's Pieter Valentine. I've written two books, The Resident's Voice from a Dementia Unit and The Resident's Rise from a Dementia Unit. Now, today's session is on moderate level depression. Now, I'll just explain about the scales of depression because there's quite a range within moderate level. So, taking the analog scale 0 to 10, 0 being no depression, 10, 10 being high depression. So low level depression is between 0 to 3, moderate depression between 3 to 7, high level depression 7 to 10. So generally you're aiming to get a good 30 to 40 percent reduction in the depression with these techniques. So if for example your mother is at the mid-range of moderate level depression, say five, then the aim is to get her depression down a good 20-30%, <clears throat> so maybe down to three out of ten depression, which is the high end of low depression, which is okay, it's fine, you know, at that um, level you can turn the tables on it a lot more quickly, but when you're in five out of ten depression, it's starting to get entrenched. So your mother, for example, um, mid-80s, you know, Alzheimer's, uh, she's, Alzheimer's depression, she's flat, she's depressed, she's, you know, it's difficult to rouse her into any form of animation or happiness or socialisation. So she's pleasant and, hi dear, how are you? But there's no sort of um, spirit there that she used to have. She used to be very friendly and chatty and well, spirited, but sort of she's lost that. And you're concerned that the depression will increase to the higher levels, which we don't want. So at all costs, you're trying to think about what to do. You know, you've got the newspaper happening, the magazine's happening. She's going to the newspaper reading in the morning, but that's about it. She hasn't got past that. She's not making friends. She's still isolated. So at all costs, you have to try and work out ways for her to be able to make a friend. So one thing that I've noticed that relatives do at dementia units, which is really effective, I've seen this on a number of occasions, is when their mother's depressed, what, they've, what sometimes has happened is that the relative makes a friend with another relative. And so they get to know the goings on at the unit and they get to know which residents worked at which career and which residents are likely to get on with each other, etc. So if, for example, you have made a friend at the unit and her mother is a um, used to be a school teacher and your mother also used to be a school teacher and because you socialise with each other when you're, when you're both visiting at the same time because you often visit on a Saturday afternoon and bring in some muffins and coffee and have that together, all of you, all four of you, you can ask the... Uh, charge nurse or the clinical manager, look, I'm just wondering if my mother, you know, can sit at the other table where uh, my friend's, my friend's mother is a school teacher and so is my mother. So I'm just thinking that if they could sit together at the same table, they'd have similar interests to be able to discuss because, you know, school teachers think in a certain way nurses think in a certain way and it's just easier dialogue with someone that's you know been working all their life at a similar thing to what you have been working so often this works in fact school teachers and nurses seem to get on really well for some reason but school teachers definitely get on with school teachers so if you can get that set up where your mother's at a chatty table with another school teacher um they will engage her in the conversation and it will be much easier for her to socialise, much easier than the table she was at before where the women, you know, hadn't worked in careers, they'd just had their families and they didn't have the same conversation, skill set or, or the same interests as you did, as your mother did. So get that happening and also to facilitate it, if you um, just go to a few meals, you know, like Sunday lunch or something, for a few weeks at that table uh, where you can socialize with the ladies and encourage conversation and it will be easier for your mother to um, discuss things and engage 
and sort of chat, you know, even if it's just at a limited level, she'll be able to do that much more easily in your company there to facilitate it. And so these are the ways that you can facilitate that friendship and encourage that friendship. Another way is that when you're um, leaving the unit, you know, once you've finished your visit, put your mother next to um, that, that lady who's the former school teacher or, or an, another friend if she's made one or another person or woman who is likely to be chatty and engaging with her. Because you will see when you go to the unit which residents are social and which, and which residents are not social. If your mother's sitting by a resident that's not social, I mean, there will be no discussion and she won't get to make any friends from that. So just start observing which residents are the ones that are more likely to socialise with your mother. It might be a male, you know, who's very friendly with all the women. They're often very good at, you know, bringing women out, very good, um, and giving them the confidence to be able to engage and socialise. So with all your input uh, on these levels, really it makes an enormous difference. It gives confidence to your mother that her daughter, her lovely daughter, is there to support her. She's coming on Sunday lunch to meet her other friends and, you know, she, and then when you know that she started to make other friendships, the, the key point is that she will want to introduce them to you. She may not know their names, but she'll probably say something like, she'll, she'll say to you, I want to, um, you know, introduce you to one of my friends. And, you know, this is what Annie or, or Annie or whoever it is. And then you know, yes, it started. And once it starts, you know, once you start just developing one friendship, once you start developing that little bit of confidence, once others start socialising with you and being positive and wanting to have you in their little group at the dining table or wherever, then it just rolls on from there, you know, quite easily, in fact. But it's that starting point that you need to really give extra effort to, you know. Um, even coming along to some of the activities as well, the other activities with your mother so that she can get to socialise with the other ladies and you being there to support her as well. So this is just one way of being able to help um, bring your mother, um, reduce your mother's depression by bringing out that socialisation and you know happiness and all the rest of it. Friendship helps so much with depression. Look, it's one of the main look it's absolutely the main ingredient for lifting depression i've seen this so many times i mean those ladies the men don't tend the men don't tend to socialize as much i must say but the women that make a friend at a dementia unit i can't recall any that were depressed that had a good friend at the dementia unit it was only those that didn't have friendships at the unit that were depressed that I observed. Men are a little different. Um, I might actually speak about that in another video. Um, somehow, it just seems to be a different category somehow to the way women operate. But once women make a friend and then it's easy, easy then to make another friend, especially if your new friend is chatty, then all, all of a sudden you're included in that group too. And so you've got a big group just from that one friend. So it just goes on from there, you know. I've seen that many times as well. It's very good if the new friend you make is a chatty, social, popular person. Mm, definitely. If you happen to make a friend with the most popular person at the unit, and there is always one, and she's chatty, yes, just keep that. So as a daughter, keep facilitating that, encouraging that in whatever way you can, because that's gold. Okay, so this is how to reduce moderate level depression. It does take effort, it does take input, but you will get there. It's worth all the effort once your mother has a friend at the unit and she's positive and social and happy. Life will be so much easier for you, her and everybody else. Okay, so that's it for today with this one. The next video is going to be on high level depression when you haven't been able to get your mother, you know, um, out of the depressed state and it's just sort of increased and increased so we'll be going into that so maybe subscribe and you'll get that video then the next three lots of videos are going to be on low moderate and high anger so thank you for your likes and subscriptions and support for getting this important platform up and running thank you